You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Time now for the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Hey, you Dan? Happy Friday in your cute little faces. <laughs> it is Friday. How did that happen? We are again. It just zooms by, man. It just it zooms does. by. Grab it while you can get it. That's it's all there is to it. Hey, uh, happy birthday to uh, one of your faves, John, uh, Ray Parker Jr. Oh, yeah. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Right on. Also celebrating today. Well, she's not, but born in 1852, Calamity Jane. Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. She used to smoke Same. cigars in a place in my hometown. She was something Meyer else. Uh, yeah. Orig- is that true? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She's originally uh, born in Missouri. And would go on to be a premier Frontiers woman and all around rowdy. Used to hang out with Wild Bill. Uh, birth name Martha Jane Canary. Oh, wow. Really? Uh, yep. That's cool. Calamity Jane. What else is going on here? It was a big day, America, 1886. General strike across the United States of America to ratify an eight hour work day. Oh. Yeah, way back. How did then. that go? Holy cow. <laughs> Pretty well. But again, you know me and, and Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. We think child labor laws are ruining this country. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, nineteen thirty nine, holy cow, Batman first appears in a comic book. What year was that? It was nineteen thirty nine. Holy cow, I didn't realize Batman was that old. No kidding. In Detective Comics on uh, number twenty seven, and he was referred to back then as V. Batman. Okay. Wasn't well, it was Batman? It was the Batman. And I love this story just because I worked there for a couple of years. 1941, General Mills introduces Cheery Oats. Oh. They would later change that name in 1945 to Cheerios. Oh, that's cool. I like Cheerios better than Cheerios. And in 1999, SpongeBob SquarePants debuts on Nickelodeon. A, that used to be a great show. Yeah, Patrick's kind of a hero of mine. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> There you go. That's what I got. That's all I know. And, uh, Sweet. And now you know. And that's now we cool. know. Well, it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Anytime Notary. If you need a notary, call Anytime Notary. We can notarize anything, anywhere. Anytime Notary has a patent-pending mobile notary service that comes directly to you. If you need a notary, call Anytime Notary. Available weekdays from 10 to 11 a.m. only, not including Tuesdays or Thursdays. Anytime Notary. All your notary needs almost any time. Call Heidi Jean at 605-933-1980. Anytime Notary. Now, more than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and wings. He's from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Dan. Good morning, how's my two favorite old, all the old darn world. Look at you, John. How are you doing? Fantastic. Hi, <laughs> Ranger Dan. Hi, you know. More time I spend with you, Heidi. Uh, more time I think. You know, there's really only one thing that uh, that I'd care to change about you, and uh, that's your last name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hey. kidding, John. Put the, put the crossbow down. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing. I know. Yeah, we got uh, kind of an update here. You know, a couple days ago, uh, kind of mentioned a big launch of a big promotion, kind of a radio contest we got going on. The Ranger Dan Stuck at Home Little Radio Ranger Treasure Hunt. That's right. How'd that go? I've asked all my little radio rangers. Uh, Gonna take a nice little hike through the old house, the apartment, the condo, whatever, wherever you happen to live, and search for gold. What excitement. <laughs> I was a little concerned about this. As of today, gold's hovering right around 1720 bucks an ounce. Oh, and, my goodness. Uh, I did receive a letter, a little inquiry having to do with the <laughs> contest, and I thought I'd 
share it with you because I think it's fairly significant with what okay. we're talking about here. Listen, dear Ranger Dan, my name is Landon and I'm nine years old. Oh, nice. Love, love, love the show. You, sir, are a blessing. Oh, Amazing beacon of hope during Aww. these unprecedented times. That's good. I'm writing in reference to your stuck-at-home little Radio Ranger treasure hunt. Now, you had mentioned that you wanted us to look for gold jewelry, primarily things like rings, necklaces, watches. Well, my dad has a small safe in his office, (laughs) and he keeps a metal box in it that's filled with gold coins that I think he gets some every month from some place called Roslyn Capital. (laughs) I'm wondering if those would count in your treasure hunt. Wow. Thanks for everything you do, Ranger Dan. You are my hero. Signed sincerely, Little Radio Ranger Landon Lee Lindquist. <laughs> you know, I think what we're going to do here, Landon, and it's not something I do often at all, but uh, here's the thing. If you could go to the old Ranger Dan Facebook page and private message me your phone number, we're going to have, have a little chat. <laughs> Give me, give me a Ranger Dan a moment here. This letter's got me tearing up a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Hey, what it makes getting out of bed in the morning more than worse. <laughs> the rest of my little Radio Ranger treasure hunters, you just send your gold to P.O. Box 933 in South Dakota 57262. That's all the time we have. I am just melting down. <laughs> Our Credo Little Radio Rangers, what doesn't kill you probably makes you strong as if bears will kill you every single time. <laughs> Landon, you've changed my life. <laughs> oh, this is Ranger Dan out say it with me. Yes, yes sir. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir. Introducing insurancechicken.com. <laughs> Why insurancechicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for... Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Mr. Dan Ferris, back in the studio with a little bit of news for us on a Friday. Yeah, let's uh, jump all over this. Goodness gracious, things are just changing. A breakneck pace, blah, 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 blah. And a special shout-out to Bridget Bennett. Oh. This morning, uh, supplied me with this story. Okay. Uh, you know, She's with uh, the news channel, right? Yeah, yeah, one, one of those news channels. <laughs> uh, Governor Noam has made the announcement, <gasps> Her back to normal announcement, that's what it's being oh, referenced yeah. as, right. okay. yeah. has created really a lot of questions because for most of the state, it's like, okay, open things up, just, you know, due diligence, be aware, blah, 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 blah. But Minnehaha, Lincoln County, because much more condensed population, things are a little more, more still. Dicey. Yeah, they're still, you know, kind of keeping the lid on stuff. Anyway, the big question or the confusion comes with businesses in this town now are the restaurants. Oh, yeah. Right. And bars, and that's what the story is about. And uh, uh, one of our restauranters in town, uh, Mark Fondru, does an amazing job over at Barrel House. Yeah, good guy. Kind of leading the charge here. And a quote from him saying, I think everyone's getting pretty stir-crazy, super anxious to get back to work, start making some money. Yep. Yes, but he says after uh, following that that speech by uh, by the governor, he said I ended up getting calls and text messages from other business owners trying to figure out uh, can we open when can we open when we do open what do we need to do yeah. et cetera and those some guidelines would be nice those are the questions yeah I think let's see as of uh, today for instance Johnny Carino's. Is going to be inviting people in. They've just been doing curbside. Right. Okay. And a lot of these restaurants. And we experienced it this when we went, uh, was it last week? We went over to the Alliance, Alliance yeah. Yeah. on yeah. Russell and we had lunch and it was interesting because everybody got a brand new freshly printed paper menu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the table settings were social distanced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tables were sparse. They moved and everything And so, apart. yeah, when we do start opening today, restaurants, bars, whatever around Sioux Falls, that's probably what you can expect 
respect. Yeah, a little more space between Pretty things. Much, yeah, and there may be, you know, hey, if you could wait in your car for 15 minutes, we'll text you because it's, it's not sure. going to be where we, it's not going to be just this mad crowd rush like we're used to. Yeah. Right. You know, so. Uh, I, I think we'll eventually get used to whatever it is. You know, so if there are changes, if it's going to be done differently, we'll get used to that too. Yeah, I just again the hospitality industry that is probably the biggest one nationwide that just got crushed well, by think this about thing. Hotels. Just crushed. Oh yeah, the number of horrible. hotels that have had you know anything really. The only ones that came out unscathed and probably made some pretty decent over here fast food chains with the drive-throughs because that's right. what everybody reverted to. What everybody yeah, I which think made, that they made probably sense. had a dip in sales too because they've always had drive-throughs, but they also had people inside too. So they probably, you know, you can't get people through the drive-thru nearly as fast as you need to, con- considering Chick-fil-A all can. Oh, yes, yeah. they can. Which we don't have yet. We will. I, but I just, again, it's coming. which reminds me, and I saw one of those called memes, this whole yeah. Facebook thingy, whatever, and, and yeah. somebody mentioned, hey, because a, a lot of cities have set up drive through testings yeah. for this Chinese virus thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody mentioned... Hey, if Chick Fil A was doing these, we could test everybody in this country in about a half hour. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you've never done a Chick Fil A drive, it's impressive. It's awesome. It's really I just impressive. Scheduled an interview with Chick Fil A founder's daughter. Get what? Yeah, going to be what? talking. To, she wrote a book about her mother, and I'm going to be uh, talking to her because everybody talks about her dad, the founder of Chick Fil A. Okay, but I guess asking, her mom is asking, awesome. asking for a friend here. Okay, is she married? I don't know. We'll find out. Would you please? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Because this friend of mine might be, you know. Uh, 60 something and single? Interested in setting up a play date. Hello. A lunch well, date. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good idea. Thank you for that report, Dan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got completely off somewhere. Yeah. You're welcome, John. Coming up here in a moment, we're going to be chatting about uh, a bright spot of news, and we're going to do a little recap of yesterday's absolutely positively crazy amazing. Feeding America Emergency Radiothon. It's a nationwide radiothon. Yeah, and, and the good news is you can still contribute. Yep, absolutely. Uh, radiocares.org. You can also text FEED to 95819, and we'll have more details on that here in just a bit. Anybody else about ready for a vacation? This October, we're going to Cancun for an amazing event called The Sands. Awesome music from Billy Idol, Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, and so many more. This event happens at the end of October, so when everything blows over, we're all going to need a vacation. So join us for this one. We've been to this event the last three years, met some amazing people, and it is so much fun. Get all of the information and get your spot reserved to join us at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Time now for a bright spot of news and my beautiful bride, Heidi, joining me. Hey, thank you very much. You are very welcome. Yesterday, we were a part of something that was a first. It was called uh, the Radio Cares Feeding America Emergency Radiothon. This is something that got pulled together at the last minute because of what the world is going through and our country is going through and there are people who were looking for food that couldn't get food, and it was really a very sad situation. So there's a gentleman, believe it or not, in Minnesota, so right next door to us okay. here, that uh, from Adams Radio Group, his name, I believe, is Ron Stone. Um, nice dude. I've, I've chatted with him back and forth quite a bit. But he said uh, he came up with this idea, we should do something. And it started with the Independent Broadcasters Association, which is kind of not really a thing yet. It's something they're starting bunch of independent people we're all too darn independent so uh anyway he reached out and asked would you guys be interested in being a part of this and i was Which like is a yeah. great yeah. idea we're the only locally owned independent radio station in sioux falls so yep. when he asked would you do this i'm like yeah, of course Absolutely. we'll gladly do it and then somewhere along the way, some of the other companies got involved, which I think is awesome, by the way. There were some other broadcasters that were not thrilled with that. They're like, hey, I thought this was for us. But here's the thing I look at. The more, the merrier. I have absolutely, and I don't know if they were doing anything at Results Radio or if they're doing anything at Midwest Communications. I'm not ashamed to admit and even say their names on the station here. I think we should all work together. And that's exactly what yesterday was. Radiocares.org. You can still go there. Last night I looked, it was over four hundred thousand dollars was that's raised. Wonderful. I have no idea what the number is. I should probably click through there and do it. But you if you'd like to contribute, donations are being taken all the way through the weekend. 
because there are some radio programs that they're like syndicated shows that sure. are only on yep. the weekends. So if you'd like to contribute, you can still go to the website, radiocares.org. All of this money is going to Feeding America. Now, <clears throat> we spoke locally with Feeding South Dakota. Talked to Jennifer from Feeding South Dakota yesterday and uh, had a nice little interview with her. And this is one of the 199 food banks across the nation that are supported by Feeding America. Right. So Feeding America is the overall umbrella. And then down below, you th- see things like Feeding South Dakota. So all of this fun, all of the funds that are getting put into this are going out to places like that. So it's just an amazing thing. And, and I just want to say thank you to Roger for coming up with this idea. And then over 8,000, and then now the most recent number, over 10,000 radio stations right. around the country jumped on and said, yeah, we'll help. We'll do this. How cool is that? That's very cool. You know how much money we made doing this yesterday, Heidi? Nothing. Exactly. We made zero dollars doing this, and that's the way it should be. So there was no money spent to advertise it. There was no money spent for yep. you know somebody at the top doing the uh, figuring out how to pull it together. Like there, it was it was crazy. This thing happened on Thursday. On Wednesday, we were still pulling stuff together. I set up a Facebook page for this, and I'm not even officially involved in it. I was like, hey, we don't have a Facebook page. Why don't we have that? So I set that up. But there's a whole bunch of radio people working together, which was just a really neat thing to be a part of it. Thank you to each and every person who made a contribution already. If you have not yet done that, I encourage you, if you're in a position to do it, you don't have to donate millions of dollars. You don't have to donate thousands of dollars, not even hundreds of dollars. If you want to donate 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever it is, that all will go to feed somebody yep. that's in need. It's just a great thing. If you get a chance, the website, once again, it's still up all the way through, even though the official Radiothon was yesterday. And again, about almost like a half a million dollars raised yesterday. It was a lot of money. But if you would like to chime in and, and make sure that your voice is heard, you can donate right now. Click the Donate button at RadioCares.org. This is our bright spot of news. Thanks for listening on a Friday. It's a tough time, but we will get through this together. If you have the means, we encourage you to participate in the gift card challenge. That's a simple thing you can do to help people around you. Just buy a gift card from one of your favorite local businesses, then use it when things get back to normal. Or be a rock star and give it to someone working on the front lines to keep us safe. Either way, when you buy the gift card, post a photo on social media with hashtag gift card challenge. Learn more at giftcardchallenge.org. And it's time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities. Fabulous. I'm fabulous. I mentioned as we get through this whole pandemic, blah, 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 that I would try to at least once a week, you know, share with you what certain celebrities are going through. Yeah, what is going on? Sheltering in place, being quarantined because, you know, man, it's, it's complete madness. According to my sources, we got some trouble at home, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This thing is testing everybody right now, and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are no exception. They oh. are no exception. Well, let's get the deets on the celeb beat here. Kim and Kanye, according to sources, have been arguing quite a lot during this quarantine. <laughs> Kanye is uh, getting on Kim's nerves. The 42-year-old rapper, who, by the way, Forbes recently named a bona fide billionaire. Okay. Bona fide. Has been uh, forced on, uh, focused on uh, creating stuff lately. And as a result, the 39-year-old Kimmy feels like uh, all the parenting duties are falling on her. Okay. Hmm. So... She's getting a little. Uh, she's getting a little anxious. Kardashian and West, who tied the knot, you recall, in Italy. My invitation got lost. <laughs> Back in May of 2014, are the parents of North, six years old, Saint, four years old, Chicago, two years old, and Psalm, P S A L M, like the book in the Bible. Sure, eleven months old. Now, according to my sources, Kim finds it kind of frustrating that Kanye doesn't uh, ask her how he can pitch in with the kids. Hmm. Hey, Kimmy, talk to the nanny. Ollie. I was just going to say, I, I'm pretty sure all of this isn't falling on her shoulders. But hold up here. This is not the first time that the couple have uh, hit a rough patch. 
if you recall, like I do back in 2016, because I do keep notes. That you do. Kardashian friend uh, told me exclusively that uh, Kim has uh, kind of felt trapped in that marriage for a little while. However, she's dedicated to being a supportive wife, and uh, and she'll do what we can. But uh, meanwhile, things are things are a little tense there at the Kardashian well, West bad. estate. Hmm. It is. It really, really is. Thoughts and prayers your way. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times, you know, I don't even know how I can keep covering this stuff because it, it's I won't lie to you, man. I'm supposed to be unbiased, but I do get affected. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm on You're a human, human too, being. Dan. When I get cut, I bleed like everyone else. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, I think that's important. Maybe even more. <laughs> I got to tell you what, if it weren't for the social distancing, I'd be hugging on you right now, man. <laughs> well, thank God for the little things in life. <laughs> Dan, thanks for that report, sir. Yeah, you bet. At least I can do. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing here. Uh, this is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by Anytime Notary. If you need a notary, call Anytime Notary. We can notarize anything, anywhere. Anytime Notary has a patent-pending mobile notary service that comes directly to you. If you need a notary, call Anytime Notary. Available weekdays from 10 to 11 a.m. only. Not including Tuesdays or Thursdays. Anytime Notary. All your notary needs almost any time. Call Heidi Jean at 605-933-1980. Anytime Notary. Now, more than ever, you need a credit card that offers what you need. Some cards have high rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Usually people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes. You may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card probably won't tell you, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Friday, May 1st. Investors got a bit of a jolt on Thursday when the latest jobless claim figures were released. While the numbers of newly unemployed is falling, the week's figure was above consensus. At 3.84 million, the number of unemployed due to the coronavirus pandemic tops 30 million. Equity indices fell on the news, but the near-term outlook remains bullish. A number of tailwinds, including tech earnings, hopes for a vaccine, and the outlook for an economic rebound are supporting the market. The risk is that the rally may not not last much longer. With the earnings picture in decline and the outcome of the pandemic still an unknown, the risk of another deep market sell-off is large. Hopes for a V-bottom are likely misplaced. The FOMC Jerome Powell said himself that even hopes for a W-shaped recovery are optimistic. Investors should be prepared for volatile market swings to last at least another quarter or two. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.